Hi there everyone. Um, I'm just going to give you some information about fly bars and mainly the paddles. <coughs> um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to start with uh, these here are V paddles. These are very light carbon fiber and <coughs> if you've got these on your helicopter it's not going to be so stable. So really it's for more of the newcomers if you're thinking of ideas about blinging it up and all these things, don't bother. It's, uh, it's pointless. Until you can actually fly, you need to stick with your original paddles. These are heavy. These, this is my Raptor 90, and these are heavy paddles. Now, I do most of my upside down, inverted stuff with that. <coughs> um, and these make it very stable, which means it's easier to hover upside down. You need to keep these heavy. And I suggest to anyone who's, you know, just moving on, they're starting to do a bit of sport flying, keep the heavy paddles on until you're really confident with all your moves. <coughs> I wrapped to 60. These are slightly lighter. They give it more reaction because the engine isn't as powerful. Um, <coughs> I've put lighter ones on so it can move a bit quicker. You know, when you change direction in the air, lighter paddles will make your blades move quicker. <coughs> so my Raptor 60's got mid size on. These are very light and they are heavy. So for the newcomers, stick to the heavy blades. Now when this is spinning, to understand how fly bar works, the longer it is, the more stable the helicopter, but the less movement you get. You still get full movement, but it, it tends to react slower, <coughs> which is what the newcomers want. You don't want an erratic helicopter. Now, <coughs> to understand exactly how a fly bar works, you need to start looking on the internet about gyroscopic precession, and um, it's all about uh, forces on something that's spinning. Uh, now, when this is spinning very fast, you've got a gyroscopic effect from this disc. When this is going round, it's like a big gyroscope. And when you press forward, so you want the helicopter to move this way, the action is on the flybar paddle. So if you have 10 pounds of force on this flybar paddle, because it's spinning, you've got the gyroscopic precession, the 10 pounds of force is at 90 degrees, and it moves your blades. And you'll well, it moves your, fly, uh, your swash plate, which moves your blades. And then you move forward. So everything is done at 90 degrees on something that's spinning. That's why the fly bar goes across here. The action is here, but it doesn't move. The real action or force gets pushed this way. So for those newcomers, stick with your heavy fly bar paddles. You'll find it much easier to learn to fly then progress to a mid paddle and then if you you know if you want this 3d stuff that is very fast then go to a very light v blade or very very light fly bar paddle it gives a faster action hi everyone i'm just going to let you know some information that most people don't do and they have quite a lot of time they bog their engine down and they crash People set up their pitch curve and they set it up to plus 12 and minus 12. Now, plus 12 and minus 12 is the maximum you want to go to, but realistically, unless you're a big time 3D flyer, you do not need plus 12 and minus 12. And you must set up your aileron and elevate your pitch curve. Now, this is what most people don't do. Now, to set up your main pitch, Put a transmitter in idle up, so at zero stick, our blades are flat. Fly bar's flat and our blades are flat. We need to set the angle when you push forward or backwards on the elevator and the aileron. You need to set this angle as well so that the swash plate doesn't bog down and you don't have too much combined pitch that will bog your engine down. So if you're at maximum throttle, and you go to maximum aileron or elevator, you are going to add more than 20 degrees pitch. You see that? This is horizontal, 
the angle of this will be more than 20 degrees or up to about 20 your engine will bog down so we need to set the elevator and aileron to about 7 degrees no more 6 degrees is down and you do it the same way as you do your collective pitch you put it into idle up so zero stick squash plate is in the middle our fly bar Put the helicopter on something flat, measure the distance of the fly bar on both sides, so it's horizontal, lock it in that position, put your pitch gauge on, set your zero and your main throw, so on here this will be about 10 degrees on the dial. You look across this plane and match it up to this one as you look across. Then you look at the gauge. Now that's your collective pitch. Plus or minus 10 is fine. <coughs> your aileron, you leave it all set up as it is and you roll your aileron stick and you adjust your um, values in your transmitter to hold this so when it's moved, maximum left aileron, horizontal fly bar, I look across here, match it up fly bar paddles across here and I read the setting and I don't want more than 7 degrees and you do the same for your elevator now when you do the elevator you have to move the blades to this position you see that? so you have them horizontal here and you do the same thing from this position and you set it to the same as the aileron now once these two are set no more than 7 degrees, then if you're at full stick or full negative and you whack the ailerons over for doing fast rolls or something you are not going to bog the helicopter down because the combined pitch is going to be 17 degrees so if you're not doing your aileron elevator do it, it will stop bogging down and you won't have any binding and the engine can cope with it right.